Greetings YouTube, it's Chris Mack and I'm back again with another episode of Merce Monday. Today's video is going to be a quick one. We're just going to go over three quick tips concerning the Lopez valve. Stick around. Okay, tip number one. As you can see here on the valve, there's a long end and a short end. You want to put the long end into either your NG, OG, Dobhoff, whatever it is that's in the patient, you want to put this long end into that. And that's because your connector here, that if you're going to hook this to suction, then your suction tubing is going to go right on here and it doesn't matter. But later on, if you end up having to give tube feeding, then you can see this little connector piece here. If you were to have it on here on the long end, there's not a lot of room that you then have to put the nozzle in for your tube feed. Whereas if you put it on the short side here, you can see that there's, sorry, if you put it on the long, on the short side, then you can see that there's definitely enough room to put the nozzle for tube feeding. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is whenever you take this cap off, so you've got tube feeding then running, and this is going into your patient, then you take this cap off to put your medications in, you end up losing this cap a lot. Well, this actually sits right inside your dial right there. So that way you don't have to worry about losing it or dropping it or misplacing it. And then our last tip, I've actually got a little bit of um, uh, some milk over here so that way you can kind of see. And I'm going to try and get a really good angle on this. But you want to depressurize your Lopez. And what I mean by that is Anyone who's ever used these know that once you put your meds and everything down into here, that there's always just a little bit of something that ends up stuck in the bottom here, and it doesn't seem to always go in. And over time, that can gunk up your valve, and you might need to replace it. That And also, whatever medications you're giving, that also means that some of the medication stays here in the... Let me flip this so you can see. Some of the medication actually stays here in the tube portion rather than actually going to your patient. So that way you can actually get a good visual of this. I'm going to drop a little bit of milk in here so that way you can actually see something that's got a little bit of color rather than just some water. So give me one second here to do that. Where you put this on there, your cap is pressurized. So what you do is once you have that, so the long end's going to your patient and it's off right now. So once you would finish and everything, whenever you would then put your cap on after you're done giving your medication, you would flip it off, and then you would put the cap on. Well, after you put the cap on, now that's pressurized. So watch what happens. So again, long end to the patient, short end is your tube feeding going in. You've put your cap on. You've got a little bit of stuff still in here. If you turn that valve, toward, turn the off valve towards the tube feed, so if you turn this toward how it went through. So that's a way of one depressurizing because now you've actually pushed more of the medication towards the patient, which means that which it's going where it's supposed to. The second thing is is that you've cleared out your more of your chamber, which means that you don't have to worry about this getting clogged. And lastly, anyone who has used these a good bit knows that whenever you've got stuff in here then you go to pull this cap off, usually it ends up shooting at you. So now you've also reduced the amount that's in there. And here, we're going to do that again. Now you've reduced the amount of stuff that's in here. So whenever you remove the cap, that's going to shoot back at you. So that's just my uh, third tip. All right, thanks for joining me in another episode of Merce Monday. And if you've got any questions, please leave those down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can with that. And if you've got any of your own tips and tricks, please leave those down below too. I'd love to see them. I'm sure others probably would too. And uh, if you like this episode and anything else that you've seen on my channel, please go ahead and hit that uh, like and subscribe button down below. And uh, this is Chris Mack. We'll see you the next time. Have a good rest of your day. And then that. <laughs> Can you tell I just finished working four night shifts in a row? Oh my. Whew. All right. So. <laughs> Whew. All right. Thanks for joining me in another episode of Merce Monday. 
And if you've got any questions, go ahead and leave those down in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you've got any of your own tips and tricks, go ahead and leave those down below. I'd love to see them and uh, whatever that information that and leave those down below. And if you've got any of your own tips and tricks for a Lopez Vowels, go ahead and leave that, 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 that. <laughs> We're going to try this again. All right.